This is Citrix Virtual Apps and Desktop 72106 on premises, training videos errors. And in this particular video, we'll try to cover about ICA protocol. ICA stands for Independent Computing Architecture. The first version of ICA protocol was developed in 1989-1990 and it was used in Citrix multi-user version, and for the Microsoft OS 2 operating system. Citrix ICA completes with three components first is server software, second one is network protocol, and third is the client software component. The ICA is not bound to any single platform, it can run on top of many operating systems, such as Windows, Linux, iOS, also it is run over industry standard network protocols, such as TCP IP, IPX, SPX, PPP, ISDN, Frame Relay and ATM. ICA protocol operates at the presentation layer of OSI model, which prepares the received data to be presented in application layer. ICA exchange only screenshot of the data between the client and the server, so it is very thin and secure. The communication between the receiver and server takes place over virtual channels, whether for audio, video, graphics, disks, COM ports, LPT ports, printers, smart card or even third-party custom virtual channels. Virtual channels provide a secure way to accomplish a variety of tasks. All client virtual channels are routed through the WinStation driver. The client connects to the ZenApp Zen desktop server. The client passes information about the virtual channels it supports to the server. Next we will see how client-server data exchange using a virtual channel. The server-side application starts, obtains a handle to the virtual channel, and optionally queries for additional information about the channel. The client virtual driver and server side application pass the data using the following two methods. First is if server wants to send the data, then it will send immediately to the client. Once data is received by the client, the WinStation driver demultiplexes the virtual channel data from the ICA stream and immediately passes it to the client virtual driver. Second is, if client wants to send the data, then first client WinStation driver polls, and then only virtual driver data will be sent. After data is received by the server, it is queue, until the virtual channel application reads it. Whenever the server virtual channel application is completed, it closes the virtual channel and frees any allocated resources. Here we seen virtual channel communication between client and server. Today we seen about the ICA protocol, and hope this will helps you. In next video we will cover any other Citrix topic. Thank you and please subscribe and like the channel.